Hey everyone, welcome to the last monthly favorites for 2013. Don't fret, there are more favorites to come. The next round of favorites that I have planned for you are some of my husband's favorites. I guess we can call him Mr. Gold Girl. I'm going to try my best to get him on screen, but don't hold your breath. We may get his voice in and that's about it. And then of course I will do a yearly roundup of my all-time favorites for 2013. But for now, let us just focus on what I'm loving right now. First, I wanna talk about what I have on my face. This is a modified version of what Sandy, Miss May 27, did in a recent tutorial called um, Victoria's Secret New Year's Eve look, and I will link her video below. I was watching it this morning while I was doing my makeup, and I really liked it. She used the Naked 3 palette, and I can't remember which colors are on here, but just watch her video. She, I used exactly what she did on her eyes. The face is a little different. Lipstick is exactly the same as well. Gloss is different, but... I was excited that I had most of her products. Okay, so first favorite I'll address is what's going on here. If you've noticed, I've been wearing my hair very curly, all are wavy this month, and um, it's a work in progress. I have not completely perfected exactly how I want my hair to look, but real quickly what I've been doing is washing my hair at night, letting it dry naturally, and then that's where the volume is coming in. It, it, it does have wave. And then in the morning, I get, once it's dry, go back and curl it. And what I've been enjoying to use as, um, I've been using my Cortex 4-in-1. I just brought the little wand. But instead of the big, big barrel, I did the next size down, which I believe is a one and a quarter inch. So give this one a shot. This hair was using the tapered one, which I don't like. I, I, I mean, I don't dislike it immensely, but I don't like it as much as my hair earlier in the month. So there's a lot of hair, there's a lot of hair going on here. Okay, next are brushes. I've been playing with some new brushes and the ones that I've been using a lot, actually the last couple of months, have been the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Collection brushes. Now, they're a little dirty. I don't know what I just got in them. But um, I will say this one, which they call the eye brush, I barely use. It, I guess you could use it to blend out, put things in the crease. But the two that get a lot of love, the most love, is the giant one. This is the face brush. I used it today. I am heavy handed with pretty much everything, especially bronzer. And I find that using a duo fiber brush like this, I can really pack on the bronzer and not worry about putting on too much. So this has been a great savior to me in the mornings. And then this one, the contour brush, I have used for contour, but, um, I've also used it a lot for blush. In fact, when I traveled at the end of last month, this was the only blush brush I brought with me and it's easy to blend out. You use the tip of the brush to do the work and just push it along. A new brush company to me, I've heard a lot about on other people's channels, but I had never tried it, was the Sedona Lace Brushes. So um, I was kind of slow to this um, bandwagon, I guess, and I missed the giant sale, I guess, that they had Black Friday, so I paid full price, oh well. Um, these brushes are awesome. I have to say the website is easy to navigate. The shipping, I won't name the other company that many of us, some of us are even like myself affiliates of a, another brush company whose name starts with an S. Um, and their shipping is ridiculous. This shipping for three brushes was 275. It was not expedited, it was nothing special. It was just the standard rate, it was 275. The brushes were less expensive. And from what I can see, pretty much on par. Um, I bought the F face brush. I guess that's what it stands for, 05. And this is a contour brush. I tried it for blush today. It's too densely packed for blush. I don't like it for blush. But to blend out blush, actually, it's great. It'd be great for contouring. It has, it has uses. And then the other two I bought was the eye brush, EB13. It looks like that. It's just your, you know, like a MAC 224, basically, a blending brush, but it's a little denser, and actually, I like, it fits in my socket a little better. And then this is their version of the MAC 217, EB09. And like I said, I'm not an affiliate. I, I bought these brushes with my own money. They have no idea who I am. Um, not that I am anyone, you know what I mean. And uh, I just wanted to try them out, and I really like them, and I will be buying probably a lot more brushes in the future. Speaking of eye brushes, I revisited a palette that I've had for a little bit but didn't get a lot of use out of until lately. It's the Balm Meat Matte Nude. And um, they just, it seems like every random color when I watch a tutorial, I'm like, ooh, I don't have that shade. I found a dupe for it in here. They're just a bunch of completely random matte neutral shades and um, 
they've really come in handy when doing eye looks. And I'm using matte eyeshadow more, and I, I really like how that looks. Not every day, but some days. So there's a couple colors I've never used, like that. That's a, it's probably not coming out on camera, but it's a mustard yellow, basically. I don't know. It, I don't know how that would look on me. Um, a lot of you have mentioned that my skin's been looking very nice, so thank you for that. I think, I'm thinking, that it has a lot to do with the foundation I've been using a lot this month, which is the NARS Sheer Glow. And uh, I've been rearranging things and rediscovering old stuff in my makeup collection. And this one, I have it in Gobi, which is kind of funny, because if I was in the Gobi Desert, I would be probably darker than this. Anyway, uh, it's probably either right on point or maybe a teeny bit too light. But uh, it really does give you, a, it gives me a nice, I wouldn't say glow, but a nice satin finish. It wears well. It feels nice on the skin. I've been applying it with a beauty blender. I will say it does not, to my knowledge, come with the pump. This I bought separately from uh, MAC, and it fits, it's all dirty, but it fits right on there. And um, I really do like it. I want to see if maybe I could get a different shade, but I'm not going to, I will use this up first. To warm my face up a bit, since I am whiter than usual, which is quite white. Uh, I have been reaching a lot for this one, which I hope this doesn't mean they're discontinuing it. So if they are discontinuing it, grab this while you can. It's such a great bronzer. It's obviously by Revlon. It's their photo ready bronzer. This one's called 100 Bronzed and Chic. And I just swirl that big old duo fiber brush in all four shades. And I don't contour, you can contour with it. I just kind of brush it all over the place, which is what I've done today. Um, on to the last category, nails. So I've mentioned this on Twitter and other social media, but I've never really talked about my Hanukkah present from my husband was a shellac gel system that uh, we got, he got. Actually, he went with me to Sally's Beauty Supply and I picked it out and he paid for it. So that's how Hanukkah rolls at my house, but it is by the brand Jellish. I got all the mini sizes. And, um, what I've been doing with this, and, it, and you buy the like stuff in a kit, and then the light comes separately, and the light, I've looked all over, I didn't keep the box, it has absolutely no branding on it. I think it's just a light, the UV light that you buy at Sally's. There's not a lot of options there. I will try to, I will link it in the description box. But um, what I use it for is just to give my nails a little more strength. I know that ultimately it's probably not doing a, a lot of good for my nails, but I just bought a very, very light, almost clear shade of actual gel polish, and I put it on, and then it gets, it's as the base for whatever nail polish I want. For instance, today it's um, Zoya Tomoko, which is awesome. So sparkly. So pretty. And, um, and I think I've already... No, it didn't chip a nail. Anyway, so that gives me the opportunity. I can still switch out my polish. My polish actually lasts a lot longer on top of the shellac. And, you know, it lasts me a good two, three weeks before it grows out. And um, I love it. I just love that I can get a little more wear out of my polish and that my nails aren't constantly breaking, especially my thumbs. For some reason, my thumbs and my middle fingers break too much. Maybe I shouldn't use my middle finger so much. Um, a nail polish combo that I really enjoyed all month. It's been on my nails, my toenails for months. Probably time to change them. Uh, I use the Revlon Copper Penny as the base coat. And then I stick the Sally Hansen Dream Sequins on top of it. And it's incredibly sparkly and incredibly pretty. And it makes me happy when I look down at my feet. I haven't seen a lot of my feet this month because it's been cold here and I've been keeping them either in Uggs or slippers pretty much 24-7. And then the last thing I want to talk about is a non-beauty related favorite. And a lot of you ask for this every month, so I thought I would bring them back into the favorites, is the books I've been reading. And the series that I just recently discovered is the, uh, it's called the Chet, A Chet and Bernie Mystery. The author's name is Spencer Quinn and the first book in the series is Dog On It. And um, it's a very unique mystery series. Um, it's set, I think it's set in Arizona. It's set in the desert. It doesn't say flat out exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's, and, and the main character, it's, it's done in first person. And the person, the person speaking is a dog named Chet and his partner, Bernie. And Bernie is the human and he is a private detective and Chet is his partner, or at least 
Chet thinks he is. Actually, Bernie thinks he is too. And so everything is written in the dog's perspective. So if you're a dog lover, it's 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 interesting. It's pretty funny. And um, I've read the first two books in the series. I don't know how many more there are. Um, but yeah, check it out. Dog on it by Spencer Quinn. I'll put that in the description box. And as always, library is always a great resource. If you're not sure if you're gonna love a book or not, um, get at your library. So that's it for the month of December. Lots more favorites to come. Um, I'm, you know, it's bittersweet. End of 2013, beginning of a new year. It's kind of exciting. A lot of changes. A lot of exciting things to look forward to in 2014. Um, both personally and hopefully professionally for me. Um, I hope your holiday season was awesome no matter what holiday you celebrated. Some of it fell in December. And um, have a safe and happy New Year's. Um, be careful, be responsible, but be sure you have fun while doing that. And I will see you on the in 2014. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.